Hi guys, my name is Daniel and welcome again to a new tutorial series about Django. So, for this tutorial, we are going to learn the basics of Django. We are going to use uh, Django 4 and uh, to learn uh, the basics, I think uh, we have to go to the roots for the beginning. So, the goal of this project is to create a mini tutorial blog. So we can explore like the main features of uh, Django and uh, I'm going already now to show what it's going to look like. So our mini blog Django tutorial is going to be look like this. So we will have like the main page where you can click and uh, in each um, page you can click new blog posts. These uh, the blog posts are like that ones. So, in terms of stylings, after we can uh, style it the way that you want, for example, we can put image and more text, but yeah, it is like the main setup for a blog. If you would like more blogs, it's just click here, new blog. So, you're going, you are going to a new URL, new blog post, and we say here, new blog post. We are going to choose an author that uh, exists in your database. So that one, it's myself. And here we create like uh, some text. And when we click save, we are going to add that new blog post into the database. And it's going to show here. So after that, we can click in uh, the individual blog posts. And we can like edit and delete in that one we are going to delete uh, this blog post that we have created so we have like a confirmation message if we want to real delete we click in confirm and uh, it's delete after that we can also edit the blog post we come here hiking moment journey so you click here in edit we click update and yes, as you can see, it's, uh, it edited the blog post. So this tutorial does not involve the Django REST framework API. We are not using the Django REST framework, only pure Django when you are using the Django for. So what are we doing that? Because even if most of the projects now we create like the backend using the Django REST framework API, we create the API that is going to be consumed in the front end. Uh, there's going to be a moment in uh, your life that you are going to be asked the project, what, where it's like a simple project, what you don't need, like the features of uh, a front end framework like React or Vue. So for that, you can just create like um, the website or the main app, which is pure CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. So I think even if uh, in the future it's evolving to use more the REST framework, it's always good to know the basics of Django. So we are going to, because they have a lot of features with uh, the template view model, and uh, it's uh, always going to be necessary to have that know-how. Yeah, so here my main goal is to do a main simple tutorial when you're going to explore the main features that we can do with uh, Django on Floor. So you can create like uh, this uh, application and uh, with these basic features that we are going to explore, we can create much more applications. So enough of the presentation. So let's go to create our project. So, for creating the project, let's come here and let's go create a fold. Let's call that mini blog app. So, we move inside uh, the folder. And uh, if you already watched my videos, I recommend you to install the hyper terminal or the git bash because uh, when I like all the design for this. So, as you know, to create like a Django, first we have to create a virtual environment. So, 
to create a virtual environment you have to do to tap in the command python m vnv and uh, now we tap the name of our virtual environment that we are going to name it env we click ok and as you can see here we have created now our virtual environment so that is it now we have to activate since you are using batch in windows the command for that one is source env again if you are using the terminal on windows it is going to be different so just look for the way that you activate the environment using the windows terminal that's a, it's the same thing like here but without a source and a different way but what's going to happen you are going to have like this uh, env activated so this means that uh, we are finally uh, we finally activated the the environment and uh, next step is to install django so we are, we are going just to use pip install django and again the main goal of do of creating a virtual environment is like to create a container for all our requirements that are going to be contained in uh, this uh, in uh, this virtual environment so as you can see we have uh, installed it so to check if uh, correctly install we do django uh, dash dash version and it's not happen but this is because we have to use django admin dash dash version and okay this is telling us that uh, django is installed here and we are using the version 4.2.7 so next step is to is to start the project so for that we are going to use the command django admin start project and here we name the name of the project so it's going to be mini blog and i prefer like that way okay and now we are going to create a new directory with the name mini blog so we do cd mini blog and we are going inside this director so as you can see we have like our main file with the settings the configuration url and the manage.py next step we have to actually to create the app we can actually create here but this is a moment where i prefer like to open the vs code so you tap like code dot and it's going to open the vs code for us in uh, inside this folder this directory so yes you trust the projects you come here and now we are going to open the terminal so for this you can use like the shortcut like me or you come here terminal you click here new terminal so you can also see the shortcut for us and you create one so uh, for me default is uh, the bash one so for example when you click la when you click uh, here it opens like a bash default terminal that you can for example use the git badge command prompt but uh, mine is already but like bash as default so I like to open at least uh, two terminals because the first one is going to be for our server to run and the second one is for installing new things uh, doing the git and uh, and yes all the commands that uh, we need like migrations that we are going to use in the future and so what we are going to do now is to create a new app so since this is like a simple blog we are going to create an app named blog that is going to contain all the logic of our application so for this we do python manage.py and here you create start app and we are going to name this 
blog and as you can see we have created here like blog that we are going to have our app name blog and uh, we can already come here copy this because this is where we're going to create the model this is where we're going to create the views and uh, yes this we're going to reject the admin in uh, on admin page so one thing that you can already do is to register this app on our uh, application so for this we are going we are coming here let's say i like to comment it internal apps and we are going to register our uh, app that we have created now it's going to be name blog okay so that's it hey, actually to the English badger let's use the caps log internal apps and uh, yes yeah, is the basic setup that we already have done so I think we can run the server so I come here on the top one so as you can see here I do like the commands to migrate to create new apps this gives me like more flexibility and in the top one uh, it is where our server is going to run so you do python manage.py run server and we click enter okay no such file in the record. okay this is happening for one reason now as you can see it's not because of the problem of NV, because RNV is uh, activated here. This is happening because one of the extensions that we have here. And actually, if you use Django, I recommend you to install the Django extension, which is that one, because it's going to help a lot when uh, we are using Django, mainly like for uh, the template what you give like you that uh, beautiful visual representation of uh, the template tags so we have if you click here ls so okay there that i did we are in the right folder but we have to do python manage dot py run server so if you click here we are running and now our server is active it's active in the port uh, 8000 here in that uh, URL so if you click here you are going to see we have uh, like our Django application installed and running successfully and uh, yeah, now that we have this, we just have to start to develop our app. We already create like our blog app, so the next thing that we are going to do is probably we are going to create the models, so we can create uh, the views, create uh, the admin, the super pager. But yes, we have time to check that. So for now, as you can see, we have 18 uh, an applied migration because uh, when you create a new app Django already create like some tables for us that in this case we are going we are using SQL little to as our database but we can use like Postgres database that is also very famous and uh, others and yeah for now is this so I'm going to pause here and in the next video Yes, let's just start to develop the app and we are going to probably start with uh, the models. So for now, we're going to pause here. If you're excited about uh, this project, please share, like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.